Knots can be very useful. Here are 10 super useful knots you need to know. The knot I use the most is the halt hitch. It is normally used for tying horses because it is quick release, but I use it for tying barn door shut and anywhere I need to attach a string to a post. Tying the halt hitch is easy. Put the rope around the object you are tying it to, cross the short rope over the long rope, take the short rope behind the loop to create a second hoop, then pass a bite, a folded piece of rope, through the second loop and tighten. If I want a more secure knot, I can tie the knot so it is not quick release. Just tie the knot like normal, but instead pass the end of the rope through instead of a bite. One of the most useful knots ever is the bowline. It is used for heavy loads like rope swings and towing vehicles because it is really strong, but you can easily get it undone afterwards. To tie the bowline, make a small hoop in the rope, pass the end of the rope through the hoop, this will make a second hoop. Then pass the short end around the back of the long end and back down through the hoop and pull tight. Rope can be very hard to store because it keeps tangling and takes up a lot of space. A good way to store it is by coiling it. Wrap the rope a few times around your hand and elbow but leave a long tail. Then take it off your arm and start wrapping the rope around itself. Once you have used up most of the rope, pass a bite through all of the hoops, then fold the bite over all of your hoops and pull the tail to tighten. You can easily hang out these coils. Instead of trying to tow big heavy logs with a rope attached to the branches, just use a timber hitch. Put the rope under your log, fold the short end over the log and wrap it around the long end. Then wrap the rope around itself three times and tighten really well. Now you will be able to pull huge logs even if they have no branches. If a rope breaks or a string gets chewed, you can tie it back together with a flat overhand bend. It is just an overhand knot, but both ropes held together. Just make a hoop and put the end through. This knot is really strong but can be hard to undo. The reef knot or square knot is good for tying tightly to objects or joining two ropes. There are two ways to tie it. You can make a bite in one rope and put the other rope through the loop then wrap it around the hoop and put it back through the hole. I find this way is best for tying two ropes together. The best way to tightly tie to an object is to twist the two ropes around each other, right over left, then twist them back the other way, left over right. Make sure your knot is this shape, not like this. The clove hitch is a knot I use for tying a rope to a post while keeping it tight. Tie the clove hitch, wrap the rope around the object once, then cross it over and wrap it around again. You should end up with an X shape. Then loosen your first hoop and slide the end through it and pull tight. The cow hitch is a knot for tying a rope at 90 degrees degrees from an object. It is an alternative to the clove hitch. To tie the cow hitch, take the end of the rope around the object, come over the top and back behind itself, then around the object in the opposite direction and down beside itself. The last knot is a sheet bend. The sheet bend is used for tying two ropes of different sizes together. The sheet bend is good for tying a rope to the corner of a tarpaulin if the grommets come off. To tie the sheet bend, make a bite in the larger rope. With the smaller rope, go up through the hoop, around the bite, but instead of going back through the loop, take the end back under itself and tighten. Please comment which of these knots you're going to learn. 